Google's AI model, Gemini, is now available for businesses. We can activate Gemini Business in our Google Workspace accounts. If you don't know what Google Workspace is, think of it like Microsoft 365 Business, but this is Google's version. Personally, I use this within my business. Really great suite, allows us to create custom domains for emails, everything of that nature. But in today's video, we're gonna see what we can do with AI, more specifically, Gemini AI, in our Google Workspace accounts. Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're just gonna do a quick overview of what this plan even offers to see if you'd be even interested in buying this plan. Right now it's worth $14 a month. It seems like there's a deal going on. Probably by the time you see this, it could possibly be $24 a month. Let's see if this is even worth it, why you would even purchase it, and possibly would you just purchase it for yourself or employees within your business? What are the use cases? Everything above the board. This is my Twitter. If you're wondering, where is this beautiful place behind me? That is the Pinnacles located in Northern California. Let's jump into today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Google Workspace signup page in the description down below. So if you choose to use Google Workspace in your business, you can go ahead and proceed to get access to Gemini. Keep in mind, it is $6 per user. This is gonna be an additional $14 on top of that. So let's see if it's even worth it. Once you created your account, simply come up to the search bar here, type in Gemini. And it's gonna be like the first result. Purchase Gemini for Google Workspace uh, subscription. Look like this. I'm gonna hit get started. Currently, this is the features we get with this plan. We get draft and refine emails in Gmail, generate plans for any project in Sheets, create original images from text, write in thin slides, write and refine document drafts and documents or docs, enhance lighting and audio quality and meet. Interesting. And coming soon, access to Gemini with Ultra 1.0, our most capable AI model. Supposedly, that model is at the level of ChatGPT4. We will see, though, because a lot of times these companies say that. <laughs> but maybe it's not necessarily true. So I'm gonna hit next here. We're just gonna real quickly just go over every single one of those points. Looks like there is actually two different pricing plans. So the monthly one, I'm paying 16.80 per user, for one user. Comparative to the annual plan, that's where the 14 USD comes into play. Obviously the upfront cost is gonna be substantially more. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the flexible plan. And one thing I wanna point out is that in order to get access to Microsoft's version of this AI Copilot, and to be honest with you, they probably changed the price by the time you're seeing this. It was like $200 to $300 per user. I will take $1680 any day over paying $300 per user. I'm gonna go ahead and hit checkout. That's actually what I was wondering. So it looks like the promotion is only gonna last around three months here, and then it's gonna click into 24 USD per user. Let's go ahead and place our order. Once we purchase it, we can choose whether to manually select our users or automatically. For now, I'm just gonna hit manually. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna assign it to my main corporate account here. I'm gonna say assign license. We're gonna go ahead and click this little check marker and hit assign. Supposedly it can take up to 24 hours for it to take effect. Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope I can just access it right away, but everything should be set. Let's go and test this out, y'all. I went ahead and switched it to my courses account here because I realized I can't really draft an email with all that confidential information in my corporate account. So I'm in my courses account or courses email simply just reassigned the license to the courses email. I'm gonna compose here and this is one of the first options. Now, if you've seen my other videos on Gemini Advance, you're like, wait, this was already available within the personal plan. This is true. It's just different ways of approaching this where basically if you don't have a workspace account, that's how you would access it in that context of Google One. You can check out that whole video in the playlist coming up at the end here. But as a business, if you were to give your employee this or use it personally, now you get this nice little pencil here that you help me write. You can formalize, elaborate, shorten. I'm actually gonna leave a video up there where we go in more depth into this part. Let's go ahead and give an example here. I'm gonna go ahead and say, write an email. And I will be out of the office this Friday, August 21st, going on a hike in Colorado. Hit enter here. It's gonna generate our potential draft. There we go. What you wanna do as of now, because there doesn't seem to be a way to add a context window or our ability to personalize outputs a little bit more is you're gonna need to add additional information such as you know names, addresses. Also, we can utilize this little feature here that allows us to maybe formalize it a little bit more, elaborate a little bit more, or shorten it a little bit more. Here's an example of elaborating it. It'll make the underlying email longer. I could hit insert here, and then we can play around with it, right? So I can go ahead and remove stuff, add stuff. This seems to be more in the context of getting me 60, 70% the way there. Long term, though, I could see this basically replacing writing emails once we can add more context of who we are as an individual slash business. Now that we checked out Gmail, let's go ahead and check out slides. What do we got going on here? So help me visualize. You can now create images within Gemini's quickly. We got it. Here we go. We're going to say create me an image of I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, y'all. That is not what I wanted. Can I zoom in on this? I cannot zoom in on this. We'll have to squint. Create me an image of a water bottle from 2050 or 20, 
60. We can add styling here. Okay, this is pretty cool. Photography, background, vector, cyberpunk. We'll do cyberpunk. We're going to hit create here. And there we go. We have four different options here. Let's say we like this one. I can click it. And now we got an image of a water bottle that we can place around here. Let's actually test this a little bit more as I'm curious on its potential here. We're going to say create an image of San Francisco. It's maybe your company is located in San Francisco and you want to basically add a nice little image like, hey, this is where our company is located. Here's our pitch deck. Please invest in me. <laughs> Choosing photography. We got some pretty solid stuff here, y'all. This could easily be put in here. I see this more in the context of adding very fast images that maybe you don't want to search through Google for. Obviously, I don't think we're at the point now where we could do people. Up to this point, that is what Gemini can do in presentations. It's actually pretty interesting. It seems like they haven't gotten to the point yet or maybe are still working and ironing out the ability to create presentations like the text context and the image context. Future though, I see you being able to do that. This is all early stages, y'all. Let's go and jump into the next thing. Coming over to an untitled Google Sheets here. We can now organize with Gemini. Try help me organize in sheets to quickly create tables and quickly get organized for tasks and projects. Let's say got it. And let's see where this is located. All right, to enable this, it was a little bit hidden, but it's this little button right here to help me or help me organize. And just to give you an example of this, we're gonna say track task for a project to build a new website and add more context here. Let's say create. We are loading. And boom, this actually gives us a pretty structured way of handling a website development. I think what's nice about this, kind of like the email, is it gets you like 50% the way there. You have nice structuring that you can start playing around with right away. And we have like all these like really, you know, this would have taken me a couple, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes to set up if I didn't have the Gemini. Oh, my head's in the way. Sorry, y'all. We got task name, status, priority, due date, assignee, started, notes. Pretty simple way to set up a pretty intuitive looking sheets pretty fast. As of now, there doesn't seem to be any feature on Google Forms possible features in Google Forms in the future, we can easily see is going to be a little sidebar right here that basically allows us to create entire forms using this artificial intelligence. No capabilities found within Google Calendar as of now. Possible capabilities in the future though could be putting in an entire like block paragraph and it just organizes into different events and puts into your calendar automatically. Now, supposedly there's going to be an ability to get better audio within your meetings, whatever that means. I'm not too sure how we could test that as of now, but Supposedly that was one of the features. That just about does it as of now of what's capable with the business version of Gemini. All early stages, it seems like the purpose of it now is most likely to get you like 50, 60% the way there. And then you would kind of fill in the rest of the information. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like this compared to Copilot? Or are you gonna stick with Microsoft's ecosystem? Or are you gonna stick with Google's? Who knows? We'll see how this stuff develops long-term in the future and how much this stuff really just gets into our workflow. I'll see you in the next video. That's the Gemini playlist I was referencing earlier. This playlist goes over Docs tutorial and also the Gmail tutorial I was talking about. So you can check that out. A more intuitive video on how to leverage it in that context. That's a random video. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.